Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. In an ill-advised move, I am starting the championship career mode thing in Assetto Corsa. And you start in a piddly little Fiat 500 SS, or whatever it's called. And, uh, yeah. It's kind of weird, and again, I can't for some whatever reason, well, I know what reason, but I can't record the menu screen, so you'll just have to believe me as I progress through the career mode. Uh, <laughs> um, but basically, you start in this series with these cars, and there's a time attack, you have to get a bronze or better, then there's a race, you have to get a bronze or better, another time attack, bronze or better, and then another race, and then bronze or better, and then there's like another time attack, but in a BMW, that I think is your kind of test to graduate to the next level. Uh, I'm trying, at least with this car, the manual transmission, full manual, not automatic clutch, because we found out last time that it's not really automatic, <laughs> and there was much discussion and much hemming and hawing in the comments. Uh, it just simply doesn't work as one would intend. So we've disabled that. We have to control the clutch ourselves, so stay tuned for some hilarity. But I need to just do a time attack at Valogalanga, or whatever this track is called, and uh, we have to get in third place uh, to proceed. So let's let the embarrassment begin. Start, okay? Don't mind if I do. Embarrassment! All right, that was weird. My feet, like, got stuck on each other, but whatever. All right. Whoopsies. We're fine. Checkpoint. I don't know what that means. Ooh, that was almost a misshift. Went into that all wrong with that line. Woo! Not even time to get in the fourth gear there, my friends. How many laps do I have, actually? I don't know. I apparently break way too early into this turn. <laughs> All right, you can tell when I when I <laughs> concentrate on uh, shifting the wheel, kind of goes limp in my hands. Whoops. Oh, too fast, too furious. Ooh, you can shift out of this turn. Watch out now. So how do I know? Whoa, Dorifto! That was accidental, obviously. Oops, understeer, understeer, understeer. Oh, I had my foot off the brake because I was shifting. Like, what do I, what do I gotta do? What's the, uh, I don't know what the objective here is. <laughs> I, I don't know what the end game is. So let's just get this lap done and then we'll say, very well, and then see what, I'm earning points, I guess. All right, let's not downshift here. Just because it doesn't seem like we need to. Yeah, that worked out all right. Oh, 
Oh, time attack rookie. The player completes three laps in time attack mode. How do you drift a Fiat? <laughs> Alright, I guess... Concentrating, we're concentrating. All right, what, what, what do I do? Am I, am I done? Uh, all right, I think when I say exit, the window is going to close. So I'll inform you. If we're racing in the next screen, then that means I, I, I succeeded and we can continue on. This is all very held together with, with, with gum and, and toothpicks and just, just glue. It's, I don't know what's going on. We did it, everybody. We graduated. We got gold. I suppose I could have just kept doing laps on laps on laps and getting more points on points on points. Uh, but we did it. Our third lap was the fastest at 105 something. So now we're racing against eight other cars, I think, on the same track with the same setup. Uh, let's hope we don't crash or something. I have damage off, by the way. Uh, the damage modeling in this game leaves much to be desired. So we're playing Gran Turismo. Let's just imagine that. No damage. So, all right. I don't know how to start with a manual transmission. All right, this is scary. Sorry, I've already, I'm grinding the gears. Am I starting in last? Is that what's happening? Sorry, do I get penalized for being a jerk? Take you on the inside. Teach you a thing or two about the old St. Louis sidestep. That wasn't the St. Louis sidestep. <laughs> Probably should have upshifted here, but oh well. I've made my choice, and third gear is where I shall reside. And I kind of decided I don't need to upshift here. Because I just power through it without flipping out. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm still learning this manual transmission thing, my friends. Oh god, <laughs> I'm all over the road. fast. Too furious. Wow, I don't think I'm going to get a third. What's wrong with red up there? Oh, red. Alright. I'll downshift. We're moving on. Ah, that's just too much to think about. To the automatic transmission. Uh, 
Ah. All right. Oops. Ah, uh, the, the impossible has happened. I missed the shift. Oh, and he passed me right at the last second. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Woo! All right, so I got in seventh. I don't know what that means. So hold on, I need to go back and look at the game and then I'll come back and let you know. <laughs> Well, there's a problem. Uh, I didn't realize there was an opponent strength slider. I thought that in a career mode, it would just kind of scale as you went through the experience, but there was an opponent strength slider, the exact same thing that's in when you do a, a normal race, uh, just a standard quick race in a Seto Corsa. It was on 95 frickin' percent. <laughs> I, I, can, I can't even deal with 80%. So I put it on 85%. <laughs> And I've also now enabled the automatic transmission, because I can't deal with that jazz. And we're just gonna drive it like this. And anybody that doesn't like that, thank you very much for the view count and the advertising watch. <laughs> ah! Take that! Retribution is mine! So, alright. We're gonna try this out. Hopefully we do a little bit better, now that we're not, like, on, on, on impossible opponent difficulties. Whoa, okay, yeah, well, right away, we can tell one of the things the difficulty change changes is that they are much more liberal with their little, whoa, flicky use of the, the brakes around turns, so that's helpful. Alright, good. Hi, how are you? Having a good day? Whoopsies. Hello. <laughs> this guy's gonna start to think I have a problem with him. Keep hitting him. No, no. Just a bad driver. Carry on. <laughs> Why's this guy bothered me so much? He's got a very high falsetto voice. Don't worry about it. And we're out of control. All right. All right. It's doing better. Ah! On the outside! Oh lord. Alright, so it was probably a combination of the manual transmission and the uh, crazy difficulty. But now we're pulling away. Which leads me to believe there may still be some fine-tuning yet to find the right difficulty for old Kurt J. Mack. But it is nice that we can, like, the options are there. You can change them on the fly between event and event. So, like, certain cars with flappy paddles, woo! Ha, ah, we're fine. With flappy paddles, we'll be fine enough to use manual transmission. But the whole... Oh god, I forgot that there was a turn here. This whole clutch and H-shifter situation is... is no good for me. Woo! Putting on a show! And 
And across the line. First place. First place. Woo! <laughs> Alright, there we have it. Was my time better, too? Probably, since I didn't, you know, have to shift myself. Uh, Alright, I'll be right back, and I believe the next thing is yet another time trial. Maybe on a different track, we'll see. And we are back, and this time, actually, we are in an Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Something or other, and uh, we're gonna give this thing a spin, and I've, I've, because this is a time attack, I've turned the manual transmission back on. Uh, so, so worry not, I'm... I am trying to be better, <laughs> it's just I don't have the patience to truly be better. And so yeah, this is a, a time trial at a different track. Probably should not have shifted mid-spin there, but that's alright. Alright. Gotta get used to the new car too, I've never driven this car in a set of Corsa. I've driven this track. Alright, and then the next thing is going to be a race against these cars on this track. Oops, 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 oops. Those bumps are bumpy. Alright, now we can open her up. Open her up! Uh, I'm assuming this thing has a fifth gear, does it not? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna wait to find out. Oops, oops, oops. This whole series of turns is very awkwardly set up. They're like too close to each other and it really takes skill that I do not possess to get properly set up for the sequence. Ah, oh, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, you lose points. That's interesting. You lose points for going off. This is gonna take longer than I anticipated. Cause I just lost all the points that I made on that last lap. We're fine, we're fine, everything is fine. Oh, well, there's a fifth gear! I'm problems, I'm problems, I am problems. Oh god, that I was just pressing all the pedals with my feet. I have three feet, for those of you who are unaware. Eight hundred and twelve points. Oh, good lord! That that turn just sneaks up on me. I didn't pay attention to what points were required before starting. So we're just gonna go for one more, whoa! One more lap here. Oh god. Oh, 
We are fine. Oh, second gear accidentally. I meant third. Which is, like, on the opposite side of the spectrum of second. That's alright, that's alright. I'm learning! Don't go off, don't lose points. Alright, we're gonna stop here. And... I think that should be enough to graduate, so... We'll see you in a second! We did it! We got gold! And actually, I must have missed this part of it or, or misread something, but you apparently only need three medals to graduate. So I've actually unlocked, like, the next... I'm in novice now, and I think an amateur is the next tier of the career mode or something. Uh, so I've already unlocked that, actually, but I still feel like doing one race here, this last race. So yeah, there's actually, there's, let me, let me try to explain. It's hard to explain without being able to show you, but I can't show you because I can't record the menu. Uh, the, there's like, what was there? There were the five events. There are actually five events in this novice. Uh, there were three time attacks. The, uh, uh, the 500. Uh, this thing that we just did, and then there's one with the BMW at the end, and then there's two races. There is the the race w uh, with the 500s, and, and then this race. You only need to do three. You only need to place in the top three in three of those, and, and then you can just move on. I could theoretically move on right now, but I just feel like uh, getting a race in. So in the future, we will concentrate less on the time attacks and more on the races, and hopefully that will that will lead to some more interesting interesting times than than just watching me fiddle with the manual transmission, but look forward to this race, because you're going to watch me fiddle with the manual transmission, because I still have it enabled. Uh, but then again, I still have it on 85% opponent difficulty. Wait, what? What am I racing against? Oh, this is like a mixed field? Alright. Oh. Alright, a mixed field, everybody. All right, I'm taking it nice and slow, nice and easy, passing everybody up. Getting boxed in by the, oh, sorry, who hit, who hit who? Is that a guy in a BMW up front? I think it is. It's like a track day. Force feedback over the rumble strips. Ooh, these vehicles are evenly matched. Alright, I am not gonna bother going up into fifth, just because I'm gonna mess things up if I do. shift into second midway through the turn. I know that's not exactly advisable, but I did it. You can't tell me what to do. I've got the, the pattern down a lot better. I was always getting at least upshifting. If you watched the first time I tried to, to learn how to drive with the stick shift, I was all over the place. I didn't quite understand the, the center spring that would bring it from, like, second to third automatically. I was trying to force it, and then it would, would end up going from second to fifth, and... Oh, it was fun times. I, I enjoy uh, getting yelled at by YouTube commenters from Europe, mostly. You lazy Americans and your automatic transmissions. 
that were invented back in the 40s. <laughs> How dare you try to progress technology <laughs> for ease of use amongst all people. How dare! This is not the way of the European Union. Y Union? Stuttering is apparently the way. Oh, too hot, too hot! Oh, let's see if we can take this guy. Alright, so this guy has taught me that you can pretty much just... Go! Hi! <laughs> I'm driving! <laughs> you can pretty much just coast out of that turn and into the next one. He's having problems shifting too, I just heard him hit the rev limiter. Yes. Uh, oh, he blocked the inside there, but I took him on the outside. Oh, he's right there. A drag race! Woo! That was exciting. Thump, 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 thump. Yaus! Skills! Maybe 85% is a good difficulty rating, because I, I can only imagine it's going to get worse and worse as we get into more complicated cars and tracks. Alright, we can't... Oh, that was too hot. Yeah, we could pretty much, oh, just line that up perfectly, all right. And then we gotta go down to second to take this series of turns. I'm doing great! See, a little tip for you in school, doesn't matter how good you are, if you show progress, your teachers will love you. So, even if you're really smart, start out the school year acting really dumb, <laughs> and then by the end of the school year, if you, like, know everything, they'll be like, wow, little Kurt has shown so much progress. Oh my god, is there another lap going on here? What is happening? Alright, I guess there's another lap. How many laps is this? Five laps! I didn't sign up for an endurance race. Good lord. I was... I thought I was, like, ending on a high note with that little piece of school advice. But, oh, lo and behold, I was not. Alright, if, if all things are boring for the next two laps, I'll skip ahead to the finish. Just because this episode... It's already quite long. So I'll see you at the checkered flag! Hopefully. Here it comes, everybody! The finish! I had a little bit of an issue on the last lap, almost spinning out, but uh, we will uh, not share anything about that as we fade into darkness. Alrighty then. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Might need to increase the difficulty, but then again, like I said, I'm sure things are going to get more and more difficult. So, this is Assetto Corsa career mode. Uh, I hope it makes sense to you, because <laughs> it doesn't make really that much sense to me still. Uh, but apparently in the next one, we are going to go up to the next tier. I forgot what it was called already, but faster cars, different tracks. We're just getting, it's, it's just a good way, I suppose, to, to experience the entire game, because it's really hard to, with just quick games and quick races, uh, there's a lot of stuff, and I haven't driven all the cars, I haven't driven all the tracks even, so, a, a, a grand tour of Assetto Corsa. Thanks so much for watching, my name is Kurt, I'll see you next time. Remember that little tip about school, don't forget that, write that down, write it down!